I've just rewatched what I've recorded and it's very echoey up here, so I do apologise for the echo. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Ben from the Chair back with another review. I'm back up at Sunny World to see nobody. This is my second time recording this bit, it's downstairs where I was recording, the music was too loud and I didn't want to get copyrighted. So I'm here to see nobody, which is a kind of spiritual thing of, of uh, John Wick, I suppose. People said it's like John Wick, but it's not like John Wick. Nothing to do with John Wick. But um, yeah, I've never seen the John Wick franchise, so I can't compare the two. I'm going to review them soon, so I will be able to. So I can go into this with fresh eyes and not compare the two completely, because I haven't seen the John Wick franchise. Um, I hope you like my um, cyberpunk t-shirt with Keanu Reeves on it. Um, I like this t-shirt because, there you go, you can get a better view. Because it's kind of purpley, it reminds me of John Wick. So I bought this for kind of John Wick cyberpunk purposes um, as a dual t-shirt. So I thought the t-shirt's quite nice. I got it from, I think it was Amazon at some point. About a year ago when cyberpunk first came out. So. I've also got the John Wick fig uh, the Cyberpunk figure at home. I haven't played the game yet because, as we all know, it's all, all over the place. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing um, Nobody with uh, Bob Odenkirk, or whatever his name is, um, and it's in um, You Better Call Soul and Breaking Bad, and I've seen neither of those yet. I'm planning to see Breaking Bad at some point because I like Brian Cranston because of my Mid Midland stuff. But I've heard he's, this is pretty good, pretty funny ish. So, um, I don't think I'm going to compare it to you know, Bodyguard or anything, which I saw the other day, so I think this is going to be okay. I mean, I, mean, I haven't seen Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad, but um, I'm looking forward to this um, action type of thing. Um, I'm not expecting much of a story, but I'll let you know when we get out. Alright, so I'm going to head in now, and I'll see you guys when I get back time again. Alright, later this. So I've just come out of this mostly nobody it is amazing what can happen in 90 minutes, isn't it? I put my sunglasses in the cup, hold it in the seat, and then I pick them up at the end of the gun, put them back on, I to put my glasses back in my bag, and the glasses are broken. Look, the thing fell out and it snapped on the nose. So these are about to go in the bin. They were when I put them in the cup holder they were fine, and now they're comically not. So I think these are going to put down the bin because they're giving me a headache. I don't think they're going to be fixed up in a few years. Just thought I'd put you up on that before I go home and review the movie. And I'll see you guys later. Hmm. Bye. So this is the night after and the night before. And I'm finally ready to review Nobody. Because now my lights have charged. So I can finally review nobody for you and without my broken sunglasses that snapped in the cup holder as i left the cinema um yeah so what did i think of nobody when well, it stars bob Odenkirk as hutch mansell he is as he says an auditor you he is the last person you want to see he is retired from that line of work so basically he's got a family and um and he doesn't want to do that job anymore. He wanted to get out. And basically two thirds of the movie is kind of like a slow burn of like just him kind of like being um doing an ordinary job. I think it was kind of some kind of construction manual kind of like building um uh, material um I think it was piping or something. Basically what happens is there's a breaking and and he doesn't um stop at the breaking he kind of lets them go and his family take the mickey out of him for not taking down somebody with a gun and and he should have done better and he should have protected the family and of course you know it kind of shows what he does week by week and how boring it is and how monotonous it, monotonous it is but um yeah this film is actually really funny in place especially in the fight scenes where it's basically a a kind of a musical kind of gunfight it's like a an action musical which i've never seen before whenever there's action there's music and it, the songs they choose kind of go with um the action i, I never thought i'd hear you never walk alone of course being a liberal fan that has special connotations for me that was really weird to see something so british 
in such an American style film, action film, you never walk alone in the end sequence. Um, and it was it was funny. It was a slow burn, and then most I'd say a majority of the action was at the end, but there's action streaming throughout. The story is okay. Um, I think it could have been cut down a little bit. Um, I think the story narrative um, went on a bit too long. Um, the thing that stops him, I mean, this is a silly thing, really, but it's the silly things that can send us over the edge, as I well know, um, that basically after the breaking, after the robbery, um, his daughter loses his her um, cat bracelet. And that's the final story. He wants to go and find it. And, um, yeah, I mean, what a silly thing to send you over the edge after being broken into and your daughter losing a cat bracelet because you can't find it. Um, but as we all know, it can be the silly things that send us over the edge. And I know that from personal experience. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the action scenes were funny. They were well written and well acted, well acted as well. Um, um, basically, um, the story is... Um, after the uh, uh, break in, he goes to find who who did it and ends up um, having getting into a fight and injuring um, this kind of um, Russian um, Russian bloke who then has to get his own back by um, his dad has to get his own back and and it's just yeah it's an okay story um, there's not I mean I say there's there's not much story there but what's there is like drawn out i mean you could have done that in 15 minutes and it was probably a good 35 40 minutes before we got any action um you really could have cut it down but it's a good movie it's a good movie um if you get a chance to see it go because you don't get many um action musicals um i hope they do a second one um maybe cut down on the story elements maybe um no i i like story elements but it was so overdone um, I, I always moan, don't I, that you know, there's not enough story in these action films. But um, I just feel it was so, like, the thing they chose to send him over the edge was so stupid. You're like, oh, no, why choose that? Um, but, yeah, it's a good it's a good movie. I'll probably give it a seven. I mean, it's just over average. Well over average, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm hopefully going to get into the John Wick series soon. And I'll compare them properly. Um, but that, yeah, that's it, I think. So please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.